Um, good afternoon. My name is Rolf Munson. I live at 4554 Starboard Drive. Um, the packet you just received uh, has some legal documents substantiating what I'm about to tell you. I don't want there to be any thought that this is simply assertion. Okay? <clears throat> First of all, I'd, I'd like to thank you for your time and commitment. I appreciate that you are all volunteers here and trying to do what's right. Uh, today is not a referendum for or against the developer's project here. It's simply a deliberation on the appropriate land use designation for the three parcels of open space under consideration. And I want to lay out some facts for you on one of those. For 6655 Twin Lakes Road, you need to know it's within the boundaries of the Gun Barrel Public Improvement District. This gives rise to serious concerns about the proper use of this land. And it means that 6655 Twin Lakes must be considered separately from the other parcels, and it precludes increasing the land. In November 93, residents within the GPID voted on and passed a ballot measure to tax themselves for 11 years to repay $1.9 million in bonds to buy, buy this land. Okay. And by law, the county commissioners are also the board of directors of the GPID. In the same ballot, there was a commitment that if the county sales and use tax for open space passed, the county would provide a matching contribution towards open space purchases within the GPID up to a maximum amount of $1.9 million. The GPID and county open space taxes both passed. Between 93 and 2007, the GPID purchased undeveloped land within the district totaling 2.3 million and change. The county match contributions to these parcels totaled only 1.3 million and a bit. In 2009, the remaining $17,655 of the original bond money and interest remained in the GPID account. Even though the county had an unmet obligation to the GPID of almost $600,000, the GPID funds were commingled into the county general fund. It is unclear after 16 years if the county was reneging on its obligation or had simply forgotten it existed. In 2013, the county used $470,000 from the general fund, in which the GPID money was commingled, to purchase 6655 Twin Lakes Road. The land within the GPID's boundary meets the GPID goal for open space, area, and public parks. Okay. This is a matter of which my wife and I feel strongly. We voted in the 1993 election and paid taxes for 11 years to fund these, okay, to buy open land threatened by development within the GPID. For the county to use our GPID money to buy open land within the GPID and then turn around and attempt to perch houses on it is wrong. It's totally against what the GPID was all about. The county commissioners are the board of directors of the BCHA, but they are also, and first, the board of directors of the GPID, and they have a prior fiduciary obligation to the GPID and to the taxpayers who paid those funds for 11 years. As a matter of equity, and perhaps law, this land should be designated open space. If absolutely necessary, that can be litigated in a court of law. And the people of Gun Barrel are ready, willing, and able to litigate if forced to do so. Today I ask you to refrain from changing the land use designation for 6655 Twin Lakes until these issues can be addressed. There is no need to rush forward and every reason to wait until these issues are resolved. Thank you for your attention and consideration. And if you have any questions, I can try to answer them. Thank you. Thank you.